Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be showing you guys a tutorial to get this hair look and I think this is absolutely amazing because I have such thin hair so I never do anything else with my hair except straighten it up because I think anything else just doesn't look good. But Nolene here has kindly come to my video again and shown me how I can create some lovely, lovely curls with my thin hair. And I mean, look at this, come on. It's like, I, I never even knew that my hair could look this thick. So I think it's absolutely amazing and it's perfect for the holiday season. A great hairdo for any occasion, right? Yes, definitely, yeah. Yeah. And look at your hair, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Lots of volume. <laughs> yeah, definitely, like so much volume, guys. So. Definitely, if you have thin hair like I do, then I would highly suggest that you watch this uh, video on because Nolene has some great, great tips on how we can create this hairdo. So if you want to do any updo or curl your hair, the, the two most important things to do are, first thing is not wash your hair the day of your styling. So wash your hair the day before. Um, if you really have to wash your hair, I recommend doing it the evening before um, because you can still sleep on your hair and it'll be totally fine the next morning. Um, otherwise, your hair is going to be too soft if you wash it that day and it's just not going to hold. And that's particularly um, applicable if you have fine hair. Okay. And then the second thing is the products that you use in your hair are the most important as well. So um, the styling products that I'm using here are dry shampoo which is really going to help with any excess oil that you have in your hair, okay? And it's also going to give your hair a little bit more texture and a bit more volume. And then the second most important thing is a heat protector, because obviously if you're using um, like a curling iron or a straightening iron, you really need to protect your hair, okay? And especially, again, if you have fine hair or thin hair, okay? And then the third thing is hairspray. So that's going to hold everything in place for you. And this is really your best friend. <laughs> the very first st uh, step is the dry shampoo, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to focus that on the roots of your head, okay? So it's just like when you use normal shampoo, you obviously rinse, you know, you massage it into the roots, okay? It's the exact same thing with dry shampoo, okay? So just give it a shake first. Awesome! And I'm really excited, guys, because I've never used dry shampoo before, so... Now I'm going to learn how to use it, I hope. <laughs> Great. Okay, so you're learning something new today. So yeah, yeah, definitely. A lot of new things, I'm sure. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to lift your hair just a little bit so you can get right to the roots, okay? And you don't want to spray it right on top of the roots, just maybe a little distance of about 30 centimeters or so, okay? And just literally spray it on, okay? So what I usually like to do is I like to spray it all over the roots first and then massage it in. And you want to just make sure that it's massaged in well because um, you don't want the powder to be seen because right. sometimes like I can see here there's a little bit of a, a white kind of powdery look off it but once I massage it in that's gone. Okay. Then what you can do is um, leave the dry shampoo to settle in for about maybe 20 or 30 seconds mm -hmm. and then what you can do is you take a hairbrush okay nice hair so brush. we're just gonna oh, thank you <laughs> we're not gonna wait so long here and um, but then what you can do is just literally just comb your hair through so that way the product is like literally being evenly distributed through your hair okay I mean, you can see already the difference. Wow. Yeah, like the excess oil is gone. There's even a little bit more volume in your hair. Next very important thing is obviously the heat protection spray. Now you don't have to go overboard with this, just maybe two, three times maximum. And just give your hair a little bit of a, a bit of shuffle like this again, and that's totally fine. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna prep your hair now for curling, okay? Mm -hmm. So the easiest way to curl your hair is actually to divide your hair into three pieces, okay? So you can take, it doesn't really matter, you don't have to have one of these, you could even use one of these or just your fingers if you prefer. But the easiest thing to do is to divide your hair so into a back section and two side sections, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I usually go to say where, you, know, you can usually see where the crown of your head is, okay? So I usually start about there, or if you prefer even you can go, so like your ear stops here. Mm -hmm. So kind of start about there. Okay. Dividing your hair. Okay, so that's going to be your front section. Okay. And what I do is I use clips like these. These are really handy to have for keeping your hair out of your face and just dividing off your hair. Okay. So we just keep that one section here to the front. Okay. And I'm going to do the <laughs> exact same on the other side. And then what I do is again at the back I also divide the hair up. So you can divide it into sections as you're going along. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the bottom section. Pin your hair up again, like this. 
And if you want to maybe turn around now, please, yes. so we can see. Okay, so you can see how I've divided the hair up. So we're now we're going to start with smaller sections and work our way up then to the back of your head, okay? Um, so when you're curling at the back of your hair, it really doesn't matter what direction you go in, it's up to yourself. Um, you know, what I like to do is just to give it a little bit more texture, I curl the hair in one direction and then the next line I curl in a different direction. And that way you'll have a little bit more texture and it'll look a bit better, you know what I mean? It's not just like all the same. So I'm just going to take the hair and I'm just going to wrap it around the wand. Um, depending on the type of curl you want, if you want like really tight curls, go to the um, root of the hair. If you just want a few kind of waves, start in the middle of the hair. Okay. What I do is then, once I've finished one layer, so once I've curled once, I take a little bit of hairspray and I spray it on. Spray in a downward direction as well, okay. But that will just keep them, um, the curls hold, they'll just hold a little bit better, okay. This time, so the last time I went this direction, this time I'm going to go the opposite direction. Okay. So we've now finished the back, so if you can turn a little bit there. So there you go. Yeah, very pretty. <laughs> and now we're going to begin on the sides. So you can see how much easier it is when you divide the hair like this, okay? Um, you, you know, it's just so much easier for yourself. You're not worried about so much hair in your way. And um, it just helps you to really kind of get the curling iron in the right position, okay? So we're just gonna do the exact same at the front here as well, okay? Now, if you have fine hair like Lee, uh, like he is, what I would say is um, do smaller, um, take smaller sections, okay? Mm -hmm. So take thinner sections so that you can ha have more curls because you want to have a bit more volume. So that's what I did with um, Pia at the back here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I took very small sections and very thin sections, okay? I know. So, also the important thing to remember when you're um, curling your hair at the front is the direction that you curl in. So you always want to make sure you're curling away from your face, okay? So at the back it's not so, such a problem, but curl away from your face because it's much more flattering, okay? So here, you take, so this is a small section and I'm going to point the curling wand away from the face. finished with the hair now so we've curled all of the hair and um, another important step that I wanted to tell you is um, when you curl your hair don't touch it until it has cooled down okay because if you start to touch it then you're just actually going to, um, to like mess up the curls and it's gonna fall out straight away so the best thing to do is to actually curl your hair so do all the steps that I told you and then you could maybe then in the meantime do your makeup as we did here with Kia so you can see how beautiful she looks <laughs> and <laughs> um, and then now that everything is completely cooled down what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna use my fingers and just Give it a bit more volume. And also if you find that the curls, sorry, if you find that the curls are too curly, this is a good time then, to, you know, you can just go through them with your fingers like this, you know, and um, just literally use your hands. And the messier, the better as well, unless you're going for just a really, really curly look. And another thing you can do as well is, is just, if you want to just tip your head so up to so, so down, yeah. And just shake your head then a bit, so, yeah. So just give your head a good shake as well, just like he is doing here. <laughs> and um, that will also give your hair like a bit more um, texture and it will really mess up the curls a bit more and it looks really, really well. And then what you could do is, so if you just hold down there for a sec, this is also a way then you could give your hair more volume. So just take your um, hairspray again and just spritz it a little bit. Okay, and you can put your head up in it. Okay. So you can see already, it's given a bit more volume to it. So there you go, that's the Perfect. finished look. Wow. So hair, makeup, perfect for Christmas. Let me check that out. Wow. That is pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah.
Okay, Noreen, so that was the hairdo for <laughs> curly hair for a thin-haired girl. So that was, that was amazing. Thank you so much for doing this for me. You're very welcome. And I really hope that I could take some of these lessons with me because they were amazing. And we'll see if I manage to learn to do this myself as well. Because I know you can always go to a hairdresser and ask them to do curls for you. But then when it comes to doing it for yourself, it gets a bit difficult. But what Nolene showed, I think it was really, really nice and it just made it seem super simple to do it for myself as well. So I'm definitely going to practice because I think practice is what makes you perfect. Right? Absolutely. That's all that hairstyling is as well. It's just practice makes perfect and you might try it maybe once and get it. You might try it 10 times or 20 times and you'll get it. But just keep at it and it will get easier every time. Exactly. And don't worry about making mistakes. It's okay. Yeah. You, there's nothing that you can see with this kind of style. The messier the better. So it doesn't have to be super neat and perfect. And I think that's what the great thing is about these kind of styles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm probably going to make my mistakes in 20 times, but you know, I really want to learn this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you did like this video. So again, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you did like it, that does help me out and share this video with all of your thin haired friends. I'm sure they would appreciate it a lot. And also remember to subscribe to my channel because that would be super duper cool. And I will also leave Nolene's links down below in my description box. You've got to go check her out because she has done some amazing work. See you in my next video, guys. Moi moi. Bye. <laughs>